walk you through step by step process of creating the line chart in the tableau and specifically this is going to be a curve line chart as you know we cannot directly plot the curve line chart in tableau so i have come up with certain ways a certain way where we can uh, create the curve line chart or curve area chart in tableau though uh, uh, you can use this to uh, integrate uh, your regular line chart with your curve line chart or uh, you can try it out with your major that we are going to uh, create a curve line chart so i have created certain step that you can follow so if you could see on my screen these are some calculations that you need to build up so basically our first calculation is the tick mother tc next cells so as i'm going to create my curve line chart on the figure of cells filled from sample superstore data source i am considering the cells but in your case you can consider any of your measure that you are going to build the chart on okay so what i'm going to do here i am wrapping this cells amount into the windows function uh, i'm going to pass this sum of cells and i am trying to make that a uh, fixed level of calculation on the basis of a uh, month of the day year and the date of the order date so you, even you can include a date if you need and also as i want to see the data across a different segment that's why i'm passing the segment also so in your case you can pass any other dimension that you want to uh, uh, showcase into your chart you can pass that dimension in your fixed calculation so next calculation of mine is I'm trying to create a next cell value as the my current cell, the next cells. TC current cell, you can also call this as a TC cells value. But uh, if you see what exactly I'm going to do, let's say if I visualize the cells on the level of uh, month, okay. Cells. Value. So let's say I want I'm creating a visual on the level of month. So this particular calculation will give me the sales amount for the next month, right? So this is the lookup formula for that. The next formula is TC sales value. Okay, as I see, I have double copied, but that's fine. You can consider this as a TC sales value. The next one is the parameter. I'm going to create a points so of the range from. Uh, to 200 points you, you can also kind of do it from 1 to 100 it's not that uh, difficult or it's not that much uh, it doesn't make huge difference basically so you, i have created in my case 2 to 100 step size uh, with the step size of 1 and uh, 2 to 100 points these points we are going to create within this window time okay now next is tc copy basically uh, this is very useful in order to apply the index and rank on our visual so i will show you how to use it tc copy and tc uh, t so this is just a ratio of the points that i am plotting across the chart divided by index i mean index divided by these points basically so this will rearrange our data in proper way and it can help us to show the titles properly into the visual the next one is i have index calculation like index and index cycle and density factor so density factor is basically is used on the day level because it's the lowest granularity of the data we have and we are passing it to the m percent of two because we want to show the uh, even pattern into the chart and the density factor is basically used to plot the line a curve line on the chart okay so anything zero or or it, it will ignore and it will give is give the even records into the calculation the next is the path path is nothing but the this density factor multiply by points minus one so what your calculation this will throw it will be uh, it will be multiply with the uh, points that uh, we are creating into the parameter over here okay and uh, incrementer the second calculation this is a one of the most important calculation basically this will create an exponential nature exponential curve type uh, pattern into the our chart so this is a hard-coded formula you don't need to uh, no mug up you can simply copy and paste that into your uh, into your calculations okay the next one is the curve line and the curve line 
formula so this particular formula is actually we put all the sales value current sales next sales we are multiplying with the incrementer and then we are creating this curve line pattern on the visual okay so this formulas i have created you can copy this and use it to create your own visual so uh, now i will start the uh, uh, process like how you can use this particular calculations to create the curve line chart okay so friends let's begin with the part two of this video so i'm going to walk you through step by step process of creating the curve line chart the one that i already created over here so i will quickly walk you through how to do it okay so first of all you will have to create one more calculated field called sales labels and the calculated field will simply uh, return this tcv sales value whenever the index is one and uh, it is going to play between the uh, index and index cycle like when the condition is one then it will give the tcv value as sales value sum of sales basically it is just for to adjusting the labels okay so step one is uh, drag the period value which is nothing but the uh, month of the order date which is going to be in the column shelf and I'll extract it till the level of month because we only need the month then I will apply filter on the year and I will select 2022 of the order date okay so vice versa you can directly apply the filter on the order date field also it will also work next step is to drag the path calculation into the row shelf uh, which will give a dots between 0 to 48 as the point value in the path is been set to 48 this particular points okay this is our parameter I will quickly show you where it is so here if you open it so here we have point parameter floating and uh, it is going to be from us uh, 200 points and the current value set to 49 that's why we are getting 0 to 48 values over here so i will right click on the path bin and i will select the show missing values so that way i get all the values from 0 to 48 like this now i will drag this path bin to the detail shelf because we don't need that to be in the visual now i will drag the curve line calculation into the row shelf i get a straight plane line and here i will make the compute using the path bin so this is the a formal line chart that we get like this over here see so now next is uh, i will make the table calculation i will edit the table calculation over here and uh, uh, I will select the nested calculation as a TC next sales value because we want to get a next sale value based on the month selected that's why we have to make this adjustment so now I get all the line charts based on the next month sales value as well okay so this is how it is now I will drag the uh, T calculation into the column shelf here and I will make it as a compute using the path bin like this okay and I will make my marks type like chart type to line chart like this and I will drag this path bin to the path so if you see uh, I can see a kind of curve line in the visualization so this is the curve line and uh, this is the normal line chart right so i will have to make some adjustment again over here so i will right click on the axis i will do edit axis custom and i will make it as zero to one i will fix my axis windows this axis windows 
this particular access window from 0 to 1 so that my all line will be joined to each other like there will not be any gaps between this so see I have created this series of dots for each month window like this looks good so this is how you can create the line chart to the curve line chart now I will drag the uh, T copy because I want to enable the titles sales amount into the curve line that is the only reason why I want a T copy here and I will make it as uh, compute using the path bin and uh, I will mark this as a uh, uh, circle instead of line chart and I'll make it as a dual axis so if you see this dots dots will represent my title sales title basically so I'll quickly make the sync the axis sync my axis now my axis is synchronized and I don't need this to this axis to be visible into the visualization so I will hide it okay now I'll go to the uh, marks card and select the T copy and uh, I will drag my sales label into it like this and I will make it the compute using the path pin so like this I get the title across all the months like this so if I go here and uh, if I apply filter on order date on the year of 2022 I get somewhat similar chart like let's compare for January it is 18,462 and for February it is 11,951 so here for January it is 18,462 and for February it is 11,951 so we are absolutely correct I mean our calculation is working completely fine now I will drag this segment into the color shelf so if you see I got the titles for segment but not chart because I dragged a segment into the T copy mask card so I will remove from here and I will drag the segment into all mask card so that way I get all the line charts along with the titles and along with the segment right so this is the curve line chart you can do a formatting and hide the these grid lines and all that things you can make it visually appealing and uh, you know make it better to see to view you can apply all the possible cosmetic changes and you can do this housekeeping work all that thing so that way this visual will look much 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 better like this see now it looks quite good you can also adjust your titles if you want you can uh, make it better so like you can at least see the titles properly and all so that's that's all cosmetic changes you can do uh, in addition to this you can also try to make it an area chart instead of line chart if you select the area chart you can see the area chart also and you will have to just play around with the, some cosmetic changes to adjust these titles and all so this is how you can create the uh, curve line chart friends so bookmark this video if you want to you know prepare or create your curve line chart and all so I will share all the calculations in the description box and uh, you can try those out and uh, if you face any issue you can feel free to comment me I'll try to help you out so that's it for the day guys so if you like this video hit a thumbs up button share your thoughts in the comment section and uh, till then I will see you in the next video take care bye bye